camps, summer camp, fall camp. How have you seen the team progress in the last couple of weeks and the last couple of days going into the scrimmage? What would you like to see him improve on still? There's been improvement. Um, I, I think really in the last three or four days, I've seen the, the attitude and the effort really take a turn for the better. And not that it was bad early on, but we had 75 new freshmen, and uh, they're just learning to play college football, and, and that takes some time. And, uh, and, and I really pushed our older guys to practice like a veteran group and, and like a group that had something to prove. And uh, I, I didn't necessarily think maybe we were getting uh, all we could the first few days. And I thought that really took a, a turn for the for the for the better, and and it's been positive. Uh, the last two days in particular have been really good practices, very spirited, and uh, I think guys are start, starting to find their place, uh, and 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 really grow into their their role and and figuring out what that role is going to be. Every year, we're a new team. We lost some seniors. We lost some guys that had played a lot of football for us. And so when, when those guys disappear and new guys have to step in to those spots, those, those roles, those are different roles than they had before as starters uh, or guys battling to be a starter. And, uh, and, and so sometimes I think it just that takes some, uh, some time to, to grow into to what that's going to look like uh, in preparation for the first game, not completely knowing what we'll get. You never do. But, but in the first game and what the other team's been doing for, for four weeks, we've got no idea what they're preparing to, uh, to do against us and uh, how they'll defend us and how they'll attack us on offense. And so we've got to prepare for a lot of different things, just not knowing. And, uh, and I'd like to see us just continue to improve our, uh, our fundamentals and our assignments, which are things that we, we completely control. Each, each, each guy on the team and each coach is responsible for, for getting uh, his position players to do it. And I'm responsible for this team to make sure we play great effort, play great fundamentally, and, and, uh, and, and execute our assignments. What happens after that, it'll just be uh, up to how we perform against Rice. Coach, for you guys, have you noticed even with this team as the fall camp starts to progress and you guys are starting to get close to the regular season, an anticipation and excitement building for the new season, especially for a lot of these guys who haven't been able to be on the field and are going to be able to get that chance coming into the season? Everybody gets excited about the opening game and a new season. I'm sure every team in the country is, is excited. Their high school games starting, uh, well, there's some places started already. And I know those teams were probably very excited to get their season started. There's, there's just always that, that, uh, that optimism and hope about what, what, uh, what will come of a new season. And for us, it's the same. And I think, too, it's also uh, maybe a sense of, of responsibility to, uh, to keep it going. We've had some success here the last couple of years, and I think our guys feel a sense of urgency to, uh, to continue to improve. And, and uh, and I guess defend what this this program has done the last few years, Coach. Uh, on some of the points, uh, play, positions that have had competitions, uh, offensive line, backfield, defensive line. Who have been some of the players that are, have emerged in in uh, your camp as potential starters? The guys that uh, we're noticing in camp are a lot of the same guys that that uh, we identified in the spring. Um, Eric Smith at inside linebacker, Kamonte Yao at inside linebacker. Both of those guys were freshmen a year ago. Uh, in that position in general, just having Cole Christensen, those two guys I mentioned, and Ryan Parker, who's a solid veteran player going into his senior year. Uh, I think all those guys are, are guys that are going to play. Certainly Cole was a big part of our success the last couple of years. But I think those guys are uh, are having a good camp. Um, on the defensive line, there's there's a few new faces floating around in there. Jake Ellington, who came in as an outside linebacker, 
is now 270 pounds playing defensive end. And uh, you know, that's, it's not easy to go from 218 to 270 and, and be a player. And he's just, he's, he's just a really tough kid. Um, this will be his first real action on the defensive line. And, uh, and so it'll be interesting to see how he, he uh, performs. I, he's going to work really hard. He's going to play really hard. Um, and I'm excited for this opportunity for him. I know he's really excited about it. We got some some young guys in the secondary that I think are going to make some real contributions. Malcolm Morrison, who's a corner, probably play some nickel. Um, Marquel Broughton, who was in our prep school program, who's who's uh, a freshman this year. Uh, Malcolm being a sophomore. Uh, those two guys, uh, I think, have had good camps. And and Sed Cunningham, who was a freshman a year ago at safety is uh we're really excited about him he's he's athletic and aggressive and and uh, and physical so defensively uh, those are some names and i probably forgot some guys but uh you know the outside linebacker position is going to have two brand new starters and i'm not sure who exactly they're going to be but we've got some veteran guys jack king joe stevenson uh, donovan lynch um all those guys have have played and been in the program so We'll see how all that shakes out. And offensively, uh, losing those B-backs that were so productive for us, there'll be, there'll be some, some guys that haven't played a whole lot, probably seeing some significant playing time now. Connor Slomka has played quite a bit, and, uh, and, and Santa McCoy. So both of those guys, I'm glad to have them back. But uh, Rashad Bolton's a senior and hadn't played very much at all. Uh, in his career, played some special teams, but he's uh, he's just continued to improve and develop, and uh, and he's had a really good camp, had a really good spring. Um, Jabari Law is the backup quarterback. Uh, he and Christian Anderson, backup quarterback behind Kelvin, they're they're in a battle right now for who that number two guy is going to be, and I think both of them uh, have an opportunity to play and to help us. Uh, they're athletic. They can. They can run and throw and do all the things that you want a quarterback to do in this offense. Um, we've got we've got some experienced guys uh, at the skill positions. I don't know that uh, you know it, there's anybody that is a real surprise there. Kel Walker and Cam Harrison and uh, KJ Klein and guys like that that have been around the program. Uh, Artis Hobbs, who really came on at the end of last season, is having a good camp. Uh, I'm excited about him. And then the offensive line, though we lost several starters, uh, losing Bryce Holland, who was a terrific player and a tremendous leader for us, is, is certainly a loss. But that happens, and other guys got to step up. And fortunately, we've got some guys on the offensive line that have been in games, and and uh, we we're very comfortable with the group that we've got there if we can keep them healthy. Alex Herndon is a guy that has been in the program for a few years and and battled a back injury early in his career. And he's he looks as good right now as he ever has since he's been here and is having a really good a really good training camp. So um, there's guys up and down the the kicking situation uh, with losing Abercrombie or as the offensive coaches like to call him Auto Crombie. Um, he he was just such a such a surprise for us and such a a, a weapon for us last year. And Sawyer's has been a little banged up in camp so he uh he actually got hurt uh, uh doing some uh some running this summer and and is going to practice today for the first time so we'll see him and uh see how he's kind of recovering from that but he he did the kickoffs for us all last year and i think he's really a capable kid he's not uh he's not got uh, a leg that is uh, you know he's going to put it through the uprights on kickoffs every time, but very good placement, very good hang time, which is what you need in today's kickoff, uh, with the with the fair catches and all those things that are that are now the new rules. Uh, Cole Talley's a freshman kicker, and he's had a really good camp, done a really nice job in field goals. Uh, Zach Potter is a veteran guy, uh, a punter. And the the guys call him the Swiss Army knife because he does everything. He punts, he holds, he uh, he's uh, it was he's a, in a in a pinch. He could be a field goal kicker. Uh, he was a high school quarterback. 
So he just does a lot of things for us, a really good leader. Um, so, yeah, there's some new faces, but I think there's some uh, there's some optimism with, with the guys we've got there. We'll, we'll have to see. I, I never claim that we're the most talented team on the field, and that will likely be the case in the first game and the second game and every game after that, that there's going to be some guys on the other side of the field that if 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 you just if it boils down to who's faster and who's bigger and who's more athletic, they might have some guys that that uh, are uh, are a little more athletic and a little faster and a little bigger. But I just I want our guys, as I said at the beginning here, to be to be uh, tough and to execute the fundamentals, to to play their assignments and play really hard. And when we do that, we usually give ourselves a pretty good chance. And with that said, I think we got some talented guys. We got some guys that I think at times. They might, they might be better, more talented. Not better. Uh, better's a, a a different description. Uh, you don't have to be more talented to be better. But we got some talented guys that I think match up good at times. But collectively, I don't think ever. So we really, we really drive the the culture and the and, uh, and the things we believe in as a team to 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 get those guys to perform their best. Coach, for you, just in terms of the senior class, obviously one of the more accomplished ones coming into this large senior class here. Are there things that you've seen already or that you want to see from the senior class, both in their play and their leadership? What are the expectations for this group this year, especially with all the pressure? I don't know that there's any pressure. I'm not putting any pressure on them. I mean, it's any pressure there is, it's internal. And uh, I hope they're excited about the season and uh, – and feel compelled to play their very best because of what's been built here in the program, that there's an expectation and, and with the expectations come, come a, a standard that, that needs to be upheld and hopefully they'll do that. They, they're a good group of guys. They've been very productive on the field, made a lot of plays for us. They're good leaders. Um, and I think they're excited about the season and, and, and I don't think satisfied with having had some successful seasons since they've been here. It's my belief that every senior class takes some ownership in their senior season. And really, this is their season. The last three, yeah, they were on the teams, but this is their season and their team. And, and if they'll take that kind of ownership, then I think they'll, they'll get the best out of themselves and likely demand the best out of everybody else. Cook. So Coach Luce will be available if you want Coach on the side. He'll still be here.